Okay, here I will show the singular value decomposition of um, some matrices. So, recall singular value decomposition means you can take your matrix and you can uh, uh, see it as the product of three matrices U, Sigma and V transpose. U and V are orthogonal, so they contain orthogonal vectors of these vectors are of length 1, so they are orthonormal. And sigma um, contains sigma 1, 2, I don't know, sigma A, uh, E, A. And uh, sigma basically it's the square root of some given eigenvalue. And the eigenvalue, uh, you need to find the eigenvalues of A transpose A or A, A transpose. Okay? And uh, to find the vectors of u or v, uh, you find the eigenvectors with the eigenvalues. Uh, for u, you find the eigenvectors of a a transpose with the eigenvalues you found before. Uh, and for v, uh, yeah, you 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 use a transpose a. Okay. And you have this uh, formula that uh, you don't need to calculate the eigenvectors for both. You have that for if you uh, have already found uh, um, u, uh, the no, sorry, if you have already found the vectors of v, you have that u i is equal to one over sigma uh, i. So it's not the same i as here. It's just uh, i goes from. Uh, one to the how many uh, uh, vectors v you have, okay? Times times a times v i, okay? And uh, for uh, if you already know the vectors from u, you have something similar. You have that v i will be given by one over sigma i times a transpose. Be careful, times u a, okay? And um, if it happens that one of your singular value is uh, zero, uh, you can take whatever vector you want, and you just uh, if you're looking for the vectors of u, let's say you are you are looking for the third vectors vector, and you already know two vectors, and uh, you just need uh, you can take whatever vector you want, but it's need it needs to be orthonormal to the two other vectors. So you can use Gram-Schmidt to take some vectors and make it orthonormal to the two others. Or you can, if you are in three dimensions, you can use the cross product and then divide the vector by its length. Okay. Uh, yeah. So let's do some example. Let's say you have your matrix A, 1, 0, 1. One zero one. Um, so we need. We'll find the eigenvalues using A A transpose because we get a smaller matrix. Uh, we'll get the matrix. Um, two one one two. And so, if you take. If you find the eigenvalues of that, if you put that equal to zero, uh, you will find that three minus lambda times one minus lambda equals zero. So you will get that lambda one is equal to three lambda. 2 is equal to 1. Okay? And so uh, here you can find uh, the eigenvectors for u because we have calculated A A transpose. Uh, so you will get that uh, u1 is 1 over square root of 2 times the vector 1, 1. Remember, it has to be unit vectors, so they are also normal. 
Uh, and u2 will be 1 over square root of 2 times negative 1, 1. Okay? Uh, okay? And now we can find v1. Uh, so first, let's maybe maybe we'll first write our matrix u, which will be given by one over square root of two times um, one one negative one one. Okay. Uh, and your uh, matrix sigma. Remember, the sigma will be the square root of the eigenvalues and uh, the biggest square root has to be at the beginning so it will be a uh, square root of 3 and um, um, 1 and here we have to make be careful because uh, um, the matrix sigma is of the same form as our matrix A so sigma here will also be a 2 by 3 matrix but because we have only two single values and they need to be in the diagonal, in the diagonal there will only be zeros on the side okay uh, sigma has to be of the same size as our matrix a okay uh, now we can find the vectors for v we can use the v1 we can use the formula so as a, you can calculate a transpose a and then find the eigenvectors because you already, or you already know the eigenvalues or you can use the formula uh, v1 is equal to 1 over sigma 1 times um, a transpose okay times uh, u1 sorry u1 uh, so if you compute that you should get um, 1 over square root of 6 so I want to do the computation but because it's just multiplication and matrix multiplication you should get the following for V1 um, V2 will be given in the same manner you should get 1 over square root of 2 times minus one zero one okay and now we s um, we still need a third vector because remember um, we want to decompose our matrix to u sigma v transpose um, okay um, the problem is uh, here we have vectors that are in three dimensions for V, but if you transpose it, you will get uh, some vector and some vectors. Uh, but you won't be able to multiply with sigma. Uh, do you see what I mean? Sigma has three columns, so you need to have three rows. Um, but if you transpose V, you won't have three rows. You will only have two, if you only have two vectors, V1 and V2 because you transpose it, okay? Uh, so we need a third vector. The problem is uh, we don't have a third singular value. So you could say it's a zero uh, if you want. Um, and so you, you can take whatever vector you want, but it needs to be orthonormal to the two others. And here, because we are in three dimensions, I will just take the cross product of the two vectors I already have uh, and I will get I uh, ho hope I won't mess it up uh, maybe I'll write it on the next side Okay, 
So you we will get uh, if you do the cross product you will get two over the square root of two. Okay. Uh, I think it's correct. Uh, then you will get uh, you should get minus 3 over square root of 12 okay and then you should get um, 2 over square root of 12 Okay, uh, and it should be of length one. So first, you can put that in front. Uh, we have to take the to divide by its length. Uh, uh, so finally, you should get that uh, v three if you do the computation, is 1 over square root of 17. Times 2, negative 3, and 2. Okay? So, you can rewrite it. It will be u1 u2 then times sigma 1 0 sigma 2 and then uh, v transpose uh, so it will be v1 v2 v3 transpose okay uh, so you can can put in the numbers, and uh, yeah, this is your singular value uh, decomposition. Uh, so yeah, uh, so yeah, thanks for watching.